In a move to urge parliamentarians to reject the 2024 finance bill, the Gen Z on Tuesday staged a peaceful walk into the Nairobi Central Business District. The peaceful demonstrators who wanted their voices to be heard felt provoked after the police started using tear gas canisters and water cannons to disperse them, a move that kept escalating their anger a minute after a minute. The magnitude of the youth kept increasing with time and appeared to overpower the anti-riot police, forcing them to retreat back due to a heavy and unstoppable crowd that kept on pushing them towards the parliamentary building. The situation escalated due to heavy pressure, a move that made the police withdraw their weapons and started using live bullets just to scare the crowd, but all was in vain, especially after several people were killed. The situation turned hectic and out of the police hands, forcing them to retreat as the demonstrators forced their way into the National Assembly. Mass access of the parliamentary building by the demonstrating team created a total destruction in the National Assembly, leading to the removal of the parliamentary instruments of power, which included a parliamentary mess, which signified the power of the National Assembly, coat of arm, and the national flag. These are the results of the demonstrations that have been experienced in this country. Other governmental premises that were damaged included the City Hall, Supreme Court, and Uganda House. The ball is now on President William Ruto Scott, whom the youth are urging to reject the finance bill and resign with an immediate effect. The rubber is expected to meet the road on Thursday, where the youth promised to stage a walk into State House, whereby President William Ruto is expected to append a presidential signature into the new finance bill. Davis Karani, GBS News, Nairobi.